We're looking at a 2003 Ford Expedition. And this particular vehicle's got a problem where it stalls. And it's pretty random. It might run for five minutes, it might run for 20 minutes, but the engine just cuts out and dies. And it'll pretty much restart every time, although there's a couple times where it takes a little bit of cranking to get, to think, get, to get the thing to restart. Now there, there is a check engine light that is on, and that check engine light is setting a couple codes. Most significant code is a P0231, which is fuel pump secondary circuit low. So that's related to a problem with power supply to the fuel pump. And then it's also setting a P0171 system, system 2 lean. Um, and what's going on here is we've got the 5.4 liter V8. And what seems to be happening is the fuel pump relay seems to be cutting out. Now if we come over here to where our central junction block box is, we're over on the passenger side in the kick panel. You can see there's our there's our fuse box. So there's all of our fuse and relays. Now you you might think that okay one of those the, the fuel pump relay which is which is in this box might be bad and it's cutting out as the engine runs. And that's a pretty good that's a pretty good guess because we are we are losing fuel pressure. The thing about this junction box is, and the fuel pump relay, the fuel pump relay is actually internal to the junction box. So the fuel pump relay is not a serviceable item. It's not like those other relays there where we can just pull it out, and, you know, swap it with the headlight relay and, and then see if it's just the relay itself. So what we've, what we've got to do to verify that the fuel pump relay in our central junction box is bad is we've got to do a little bit of a little bit of uh, testing now we've got you can see I've got this this red lead from our voltmeter hooked up and it's hooked up to uh, the four, four pin connector up at the top there's a green and yellow wire I believe that's what color those are green and yellow wire that is the output from the fuel pump relay all right so we're looking at we're looking at voltage there the other thing we're looking at is our fuel pressure because what we want to what we want to make sure is we want to make sure that that as the vehicle starts to stumble and die and stall we want to see if our voltage goes away so here's our voltmeter and our fuel pressure gauge we want to see if voltage goes away before our fuel pressure starts to drop off now if we have a situation where the voltage stays steady but fuel pressure starts to drop off then we say, okay, there's a problem in the circuit downstream from the central junction box or downstream from the relay. Uh, maybe a bad fuel pump. You know, fuel pumps have been known to go bad on these. That's not necessarily an, an unheard of thing. So we're going we're gonna to start this up and we're going to run it. We're going to watch our fuel pressure and we're going to watch our voltage. And we are going to, we're going to see what happens to this thing. So I've got uh, a battery charger on because of the fact that this, this battery is also bad. Now that can, that can be a little bit, that kind of throws a, a wrench into the works whenever you're testing electrical systems with a, and you've got a bad battery. But the fuel pump relay should not just completely cut out and that's really what we're looking for. So I'm gonna let that charger just run on there. I'm going to come around here, start the engine. Well, that didn't fire up with the most confidence, but the engine's now running. Okay, there's our, our voltage coming out of the relay going down to the, the fuel pump, and it's kind of weird because it's, it's kind of low. You know, you look at that 13 volts, that's not very, that's not very good voltage to the, to the fuel pump. Especially if you look at our, our charger and you can see that it's supplying 14.2 volts to the system. So, there's probably some internal resistance in that fuel pump relay. We could do a voltage drop test on it and probably see enough of an issue based on that alone that you know, we could condemn that central junction box or, or the fuel pump relay. So we're gonna sit here and just watch this. Usually it takes a minute or two.
for this to occur, but it's been happening like clockwork, so let's watch it go. There it goes. Voltage is gone. Fuel pressure is dropping. The engine's starting to sputter pretty bad, so this thing is about to die completely. <laughs> it's taking its time. Still 15 PSI, okay, 10 PSI. All right, so that's it. So what we've got going on here then is this fuel pump relay down in this central junction box is bad. We're going to replace this this box now. As it turns out, of course, with so many problems, this isn't the only Ford Expedition that has this particular issue. This has proven to be actually a common problem. But, like I said before, fuel pumps can also be fairly common. So the thing to do is to do this test, hook up the, the fuel pressure gauge, hook up your voltmeter, and then watch this voltage, watch the fuel pressure, and see what happens. And and if, you, if it happens the way we've just seen it occur then it's the, the junction box and it is not the not the, the fuel pump so anyway kind of an interesting test thought you might like to see that <laughs>